What's going on everybody? It's your boy Vision and Kicks back again with another video. And in this video I'm gonna be working on the Hydro Dip Custom. So I've seen a bunch of people do it on YouTube already, but I wanted to give it a try, see if it actually holds up, see how it actually works. I haven't done this custom myself, not even like a practice pair, so this is gonna be the practice pair. If it messes up, it messes up. If it works, it works. One hit wonder right here with the hydro dip. Unless you guys like it and want to see more videos, then I got some other shoes lined up that I could work on. And obviously these shoes aren't new. It's just an old pair I had. Shout out to my brother for ruining them. He wears my shoes sometimes and gets them dirty. Doesn't care about shoes and it pisses me off. But at least he messed them up where I feel like I could customize them and try to bring them back to life. So in this video here, I'm gonna show you guys the material list that I'm gonna be using. And I have this bucket here. Boom. Here it is. We got this plastic bin here. And inside is everything we're gonna be using for this custom. So here I have the shoes I'll be working on. I cleaned this one here. And I'm gonna be uh, just painting this one for the video and then I'm gonna keep this one in the back side so you guys can see the before and afters of it. So we're not working on this one, so let's get rid of it. Then I got my spray cans here. Got my adhesion promoter. A towel, some acetone, sandpaper, some tape. I got my detail cutting knife. And last but not least, the bin. We're gonna be filling this up with the water spray paint and then dumping the shoes like this oh and I'm also gonna be using some black flat black paint later on to kind of like bring the whole custom together so if you guys are ready to watch this video and you guys want to see how they turn out just keep on watching All right guys, now that we have the whole bottom taped up, I even have to cover the bottom down here. Um, I'm gonna spray it after, after I do the acetone and the sanding. I'm gonna spray it with some adhesion promoter. Just, just some nice coats, even coats. And just, I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to do another, another, probably like two coats. Um, make sure that you're doing this either outside or in a room that has like a lot of uh, windows or something. I'm in my garage so I just have my, behind me, behind the camera actually, I actually have my garage door open so trying to get everything let out. But while this dries, I'm going to go fill this up. So, let's go. We're finally back inside, ready to go. Got my container ready, filled with water. Got my spray cans ready to go. I, like I said in the beginning, I've never done this custom, never even attempted it on anything. What I think I have to do next is spray my spray paint colors into this water here, and then mix it up, and then just dip the shoe in there.
So now I have this piece here. It looks super dope, honestly, in my opinion. I just don't know how well it's gonna hold. But now, now that it's a little bit uh, dry, I'm gonna take off the tape and see if the white bottom is still white. Here I have it. The tape covered really, really, really good. And I like the outcome of it, but I'm also probably gonna paint it black in some spots so that the hydro dip pops out a lot more. See some paint here. It is kind of thick, but hopefully, hopefully, these hold on. I think the hydro dip custom like style like this, I think it would hold up a lot better with some Converse or like some Vans, something with like that canvas material. Cause the sock liner here, as you can tell, it feels like it's on there like pretty, pretty good. And it's not like coming off like, it, it's on there. I'm gonna let it dry though, so I'm gonna put it out in the sun right now. And when I get back, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do next. So now I have the shoe completely dry. I'm gonna add some black paint to this. Just the parts that I think will make it pop a little bit more. I'm gonna add the black for sure on the back here where it says Nike Air. I'm gonna be doing that black. Probably do these little, this, where the shoelaces go black. I don't know, I'm kind of just playing with it, seeing what happens. Just like that, we got the Nike Air there, boom. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a time lapse of everything. I'm gonna put the camera here and just get right to work. There you guys have it. Here's my Hydro Dip Air Max 90 Custom. And honestly, I think they came out super dope. It gives me like an Atmos vibe of that Tiger Camel print they had a while ago, but just obviously not t not Camel, not Tiger print. It's like a marble print, but I just think the color blocking on this actually goes really well. I kind of just went like, as I was painting, I just said, oh, this might look cool, let's do it. I think this is probably my favorite part, like the sock liner and like this section here. I'm gonna wear them out a couple times and then hopefully they hold, so then I'll do the other shoe. If you guys do like these types of videos, like them, comment, let me know what you guys wanna see next, and until next time, I'll see you. Peace.